everyone, welcome to DMSA Digital Marketing for Asia. My name is Joanna. I'm Sotaro. And we work here at Sofran Telecom Europe. In today's video, we would like to dig into the Japanese app store and see which apps, mobile apps, are popular in Japan and compare it with what is currently popular in the UK. So it is a little bit different than what we usually do, so please let us know what you think in the comments down below. But before we start, uh, make sure to subscribe to our uh, DMFA channel and like this video. So before we move on, I just want to make a disclaimer. So we are going to compare, uh, we are going to use the Apple's App Store and we are going to compare the Japanese App Store with the UK App Store. We are currently in London. So this might be different if you're using, let's say, I don't know, Android well, sure or Google. some Google other, Play. yeah, some other software. And it might also be different if you're living in another country. So we are just going to be comparing Japan at UK on the Apple App Store. Mm -hmm. The baseline is going to be quite similar. So I think so, yeah. probably. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Okay. So we would like to check and compare five categories today. One, iPhone essentials and trending. Two. Kids and education. Three, business and news. Four, social media and entertainment. Five, shopping and finances. Let's okay, go. So the first category we are going to check is the iPhone essentials. Uh, so actually, before we check what's essential, uh, I just want to ask you, what are your three essential apps? What apps you cannot live without? For me, I think it's going to be WhatsApp for sure, because I use it to communicate yeah. with everybody. Instagram. Instagram. It's my favorite social media. And then number three, uh, I think, <laughs> I think the weather, weather app. <laughs> I'm checking the weather. No, I don't check weather. I'm checking the weather all the time. No, so I don't check weather. Weather for me. How do okay, you so I say YouTube. Oh, you! I forgot. I watch YouTube a lot, so YouTube is quite like my social app. Mm -hmm. and I think I use Line pretty much the most. I mean, obviously, like I'm Japanese. And I communicate with my family and friends, and so I use Line the most. YouTube, Line, and I'd say Google Chrome. I think like search like. Oh okay. Yes, yeah, so I like. Now awesome. I feel like weather is not essential. Then. Weather is the most important app in my opinion. Okay, those are the apps. iPhone and Apple is thinking you cannot live without. So in the UK at the moment we have TikTok is the number one. Next, we have YouTube and then Snapchat, which is very surprising for me because none of my friends, literally, apart from you, nobody uses Snapchat, use Snapchat for me. So we have iPhone Essentials, two social media apps, and one streaming app, YouTube. How, That's about, interesting. how about Japan? That's interesting because in Japan, we've got Line, mm. uh, which is obviously, as I mentioned, it's like messaging app, and Tiva. So Tiva is basically like, if you can imagine sort of a Japanese version of like ITV app, mm. yeah, similar to that, so you can watch sort of like Japanese TV programs on your phone. I see. And the third one? Uh, we've got Twitter. Okay. okay. So it's completely different apps, but also we have two social media, right? Because line kind of messaging slash social yeah. media and Twitter, which is social media, and then one streaming app, which is exactly the same as in the UK, but different apps. Yeah. Nice. And now we are going to move on to the apps that are Trending. So in the UK, we've got TikTok again, Snapchat, then we have Disney Plus, and then World of Peppa Pig. So those are oh, the yeah, four like apps. Movie. Those are the four apps that are trend trending in the UK right now. So we've got um, Monster Strikes and uh, Pro Spirits, uh, which is a baseball game. Obviously, Japan. in Japan, baseball is one of the like, biggest sports. Mm -hmm. And YouTube. And then Hulu, right? Hulu. So it's okay. called Hulu. Okay, again, completely different apps. Mm. Now let's move on to the second category, which is kids and education. Let me just tell you what Apple says what an education app is. So education apps are apps that provide an interactive learning experience on a specific skill or, or subject. For example, arithmetic, alphabet, writing, special education, solar system, vocabulary, colors, language learning, geography, the list goes on. So those apps have to teach us something. So I'll start with the top UK apps. So actually the first one that we have is a plum identifier. Oh, they've got the same one. you got the same one. Oh, I think this. Is yeah. I don't know why people want to identify plants because I, mean, I don't really care about this plant. Okay. Well, I, I love, love I love plants. So I, I love plants. Yeah. Like this one. 
I have so many of these at home. I mean, not exactly this one, but I have so many ones. I love them. Interesting. <laughs> okay, then number two in the UK is Duolingo. Ooh. Duolingo, which is an app to learn languages. Actually, Duolingo is doing great content marketing on TikTok. They are going viral because like the mascot of Duolingo is like a very like, big green owl. And they are doing like so many funny and like edgy TikToks and they are going viral. So I think a lot of people know them from TikTok. Yeah, from TikTok. Google Classroom. Google Cla which, Classroom. Okay. Which I've never used in my life. Never used. My kids use I because mean, in school they uh, for, force them to use that, uh, like homework. And then the number three, we have an app that's called Impulse Brain Training Games. So I think those are just like some games you can play to just train your brain. And you go simply piano. Oh. And then the second category that is kind of connected with education is kids. So kids apps are apps designed specifically for children of ages 11 and under. And the examples of kids apps are age appropriate games, interactive stories, educational materials, and like kids magazines. Okay, why don't we start from the Japanese apps this time? <clears throat> so we've got YouTube Kids. YouTube well, Kids, well. YouTube Kids as well. Because I think this YouTube uh, Kids app is just filtering all the like inappropriate content and like yeah. content for other people. When you upload a video to YouTube, you have to select if this content is made for kids or if it's not made for kids. So I think if you select it's not made for kids, the kids will not be able to find it within the app. So I think it's really great. I think it's these amazing. are like kids YouTubers. I'm pretty sure top paid, like most paid YouTubers. What is it? Kids. Something toy reviews, something like something this. Like I don't remember his name, but yeah, I think he's like one of the top paid YouTubers actually for <laughs> child. Okay, what's number two? Gokolando, Kodomo, Chiku, Kitsu, Koto. So it's like kind of a game, right? Uh, apparently, using this game, uh, you get to know about sort of like what is it like working in McDonald's. Like. Oh, it's like a restaurant simulation. So it, says, it says like you get to know about jobs, like variety of jobs, and also the society, how the like society works, mm. and also, yeah, it says like. You have fun. Mm, but you're also, also learning. Like, okay. So you can learn while having fun. In the UK, on the second place, we have the, again, World of Peppa Pig. And it says it's coloring, puzzles, and I think just, you know, Peppa themed games. So, in the third spot, uh, we've got Touch as Baby. It is for like, uh, the baby, like, one years old or like, three years old. And very little baby. Very little baby. Okay. So basically, what you can do is like um, you can see like a lot of like pictures of things. Like for mm -hmm. example, food. Um, it says like uh, police cars and toilet. So, they, they so you can, can touch. You can touch things, mm -hmm. and then you can touch, and then the sound comes out. Mm -hmm. So like you can touch. Like for example, says um, uh, you get to know about mm, the sound of like cooking. Cooking. cooking something, cooking like uh, what is it? Uh, fried eggs. Like sizzling. Yes, sizzling. Like yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's also like an educational method, exactly. but also for, like, have fun. Kids, yeah. Okay. In the UK, the third place is I've never heard about it. This is called Toka Life World Build Stories. Mm -hmm. Create your world and characters. So I just think you create kind of like your avatar and you live in this little tiny world and you. Interesting. Yeah. The next category is a little bit more serious. We are going to see the business slash news applications. So business apps are the apps that assist with running a business or provide a means to collaborate, edit, or share content. And the examples of apps uh, are as follows. So it's document management, uh, dictation, remote desk desktop, job search resources, customer resource management, collaboration, resource planning, point of sale, and so on. We've got in the UK, we've got Microsoft Teams, we've got LinkedIn, and Zoom. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Zoom first, then Microsoft Teams, oh. and Adobe. Okay, so this one is the first one that's quite similar because we have the same two apps yeah. in the top three. Yeah, I mean, I think now, uh, as we were also talking the other day, Japan is going through the digitalization. So I think yes. that's why yeah, they are trying to also use the apps to connect with people who might work in other countries. So yeah. I think that those apps are very like, how do you say? SaaS. No, like, com yeah, examples of SaaS, but also yeah. they are universal. universal. So like anywhere in the world, like people are, due to the pandemic, 
everybody is using those apps at the moment to you know work remotely and stuff like this. So I think this is the reason why they are so similar. And, and then um, since we are talking about business, let's talk about news. Uh, news apps are the apps that provide information about current events or developments in areas of interest, such as politics, entertainment, business, science, technology, and so on. For example, television, video, radio, or online news outlets or programs. I don't know if it's a news. I'm pretty sure it is a news, but uh, we've got Twitter first. Oh, we've got Twitter in the UK as well. I mean, you Twitter. can news. I mean, I feel there's a news section. But there is. Yeah. So. And I think a lot of people actually treat Twitter as their only news source. You know? yeah. And number two, what do you think? Some newspaper. Or we've got Yahoo Japan. We have this video over here where we introduce our services on Yahoo Japan. We are the official Yahoo Japan representative. So if anybody is looking to advertise their business on Yahoo, please, we're going to leave the um, contact form comments. in the description down below. Yeah. Then we've got Smart News. So Smart News is, <laughs> um, I used it before. I, I used, used it. it. And also my, I'm pretty sure my dad uses it as well. So in the UK, yeah, we've got Twitter on the first place, and the second one is Reddit. 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 <laughs> Reddit. I don't. I've never used Reddit. I sometimes use it, but more like for obviously, like I feel like YouTubers. Yeah. We've got Reddit. Yeah, yeah. For yeah, like yeah, each yeah. YouTuber, mm. and that people can post them, and That's true. YouTubers can go through like. But what? I wouldn't say it's a news app. No, I don't think it's, it's a news app. And then the third one is even even more uh, surprising for me. Next one I've never heard of is called Next Door. Neighborhood app. Sounds scary. Let's tap into your neighborhood with next door. Find recommendations for businesses near you, search next door finds to buy and some great stuff, join groups to connect with neighbors. So it's kind of like a marketplace, but also like in like your local area. But it's not the uh, news. Our next category is social media slash entertainment. So let's start from social, social media. media. Social networking apps are uh, apps that connect people by means of text, voice, photo, or video, and they can contribute to community development. And examples are interpersonal connections, text messaging, voice messaging, video communication, photo and video sharing, dating, blogs, the list is really, really, really long. So let's jump right into it, okay? Yes. Ooh. What? <laughs> I've Amazing. never... Well, oh, it's literally up coming up. Like, what it says is, Be Real is the simplest photo sharing app to share once a day your real life photo with your friends. Every day at a different time, everyone captures a photo within two minutes. So you literally oh, so don't two, have, yeah, minutes, you so. don't know what time, you don't know where you are, but yeah, you exactly. just have to take a picture. So we've got Be Real first, then the second place is WhatsApp, so the messenger app, so. and then Facebook, which is surprising to me. I would never say, I would say it's going to be their Instagram or TikTok, but it's Facebook. How yeah. about Japan? What do we have? It's quite different. Actually. Is it? Okay. Yeah, so, First one, we've got Line. Hmm. Check out this video. We so, spoke about Line a lot, a lot, a lot. So yeah, check all of the resources we're going to link down below. We've got Discord. Discord, is it? Yeah. Hmm. And third one, we've got Zenly. Uh, by using Zenly, you get to know where your friends are. So you add your, you add your friends, then you actually get to see like, where your friends are. So I feel like if you can- Like on the map. So if you can imagine like uh, Snapchat, yeah, yeah, Snapchat like on friends like friend section, you can see like all of my mates is here and mm. some other friends are here. Mm. So, yeah. uh, we are moving to the entertainment section. So entertainment apps are the apps that are interactive and designed to entertain and inform the user, and which contain audio, visual, or other content. And examples are television, movies, fan clubs, theater, voice manipulation, ticketing services, and creation. We've got TikTok ranked fast. Is it? And the second one, mm -hmm. uh, we've got Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime, okay. Uh, Amazon, Prime Amazon Prime or Prime. Video Prime? Amazon Prime Video. Amazon Prime Video, video. sorry. Okay. Amazon Prime Video. Sorry. Then the third one, uh, as the same as... Uh, Essentials or Essentials, yeah, we've got uh, Diva. So in the UK, uh, the first spot is same as Japan, so we've got TikTok. Then the second one is actually the Ticketmaster UK. So this is an oh. app where you can buy tickets to shows, events, concerts, and stuff like this. And then, so that you're going to be very happy about the third one. Hmm. It's a low island app. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think this is an app that you, if you, you are booked, it's you can you get like gossip and like first-hand news and stuff like this if you download this app. So if you're I a big Love Island fan. <laughs> you should definitely have this app. It should be your essential. Okay, and last but certainly not least, uh, we're going to check shopping and finance apps. 
Shopping apps are apps that support the purchase of consumer goods or materially enhance the shopping experience. For example, commerce, marketplace, coupon, product review, and apps that you can use with Apple Pay. So we've got the first one. Um, Shane. 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 I don't know how to pronounce. Shane? Shane? Shane. I think it's Shane. What's the next one? Uh, Amazon shopping. Amazon shopping. Classic. Mm -hmm. That's one. I don't know if you've heard of it. What's the multi key response? The most curious is like drugstore. Drug store. Drug store. What is it? What's that? It's a pharmacy. It's more like a pharmacy. Oh, it's not like a drug, it's not drug store, like pharmacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. Okay, in the UK, we have three completely different apps. So the first uh, spot is Vinted, and then the second one is Misguided, and I think it's similar to Sheen, actually. It's oh, like okay. women clothing, something like this. Fair enough. And then the third one I never heard of is called Shop. All oh, your favorite brands. I know that one. Oh, it's by Shopify. So I think you can use this one to track where your like stuff is. And we are on to our last category, which is finance. So finance apps are apps that perform financial transactions or assist the user with business or personal financial matters. For example, personal finance, personal financial management, mobile banking, investment, bill reminders, budgets, and stuff like this. Okay, number one is Revolut. 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 You have a I am a Revolut girl as well. Um, I think it's really convenient, especially here in Europe when you're abroad. when you're traveling and you know every country is using like a different currency. We are using pounds and there's euros. When I go back to Poland, we have our Polish currency. So this sounds really great because you immediately you can have many different yeah, exactly. currencies in one account. It's and then use. Monzo, which is not surprising to me. And the third one is PayPal. PayPal. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Do you use PayPal? No. <laughs> but I heard you should use PayPal instead of using your credit card. You should use PayPal instead to increase the safety and oh. security online. Yeah. PayPay. Pay. So PayPay <laughs> is like a mobile app service mm -hmm. that you can use to pay and also, um, I think, for example, if you're sending your money to your mates or something, mm -hmm. you can yeah. use PayPay to like send it. Mm -hmm. And, and you can also, I think there is a lot of like, uh, if you're using PayPay, you can collect points at different stores. There is a yeah. lot of stores that participate in those like loyalty programs and you can get rewards and stuff like this. So it is the most used uh, like payment and e-wallet, digital wallet app yeah. in Japan. We are going to make a video about PayPay, how to use it and how can it help your business in the future. So definitely stay tuned. Then we've got a uh, YouTube to draw up, which I have no idea what is. YouTube to draw? Post office! Ah, I see, I see, I see. And also we've got YouTube to show up. Authenticator. 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 Okay, so, so that, those were all of the categories we, were, we, we wanted to check today. So at the end, before we close, uh, what are your thoughts? What do we think? <laughs> What's my thought? <laughs> what do we think? We did very scientific research. I, I feel like very similar uh, between Japan and UK. Similar? I think so. I thought it's completely yeah. different. No. Obviously, we've got something like Line, uh, mm -hmm. which is very like Japanese app. And obviously, I don't think Line is very used here in the UK. Not but I mean, like the type of apps are pretty mm -hmm. similar. And we've got like social media services and also streaming, streaming apps. Yeah. And you know, from that sense, I feel like it's quite similar. So from that sense, it's quite similar, but the actual apps are different. Oh, different yeah. Yeah, and, but I think it is important to also know which apps are performing well on uh, in Japan. Because for example, if you are launching a business and you want to do social media advertising, and you think, oh, I'm going to do social media advertising on, let's say, Instagram. But, well, it's not the most popular yeah, social popular. media in Japan. Line is the most. So I think this is a very important thing exactly. to know as well. Okay, so, and that's it for today. So thank you so much for watching. I, I hope this video was interesting for you and you could see how different, but yet similar, the most popular mobile apps are in Japan and in the UK. So Tao, thank you so much again for joining me today. My pleasure. So before you leave, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give me a faith, and also uh, give a thumbs up. And once again, thank you so much for watching and we will see you again very, very soon in the next one. Bye.